Steve Hartman's been following the story of a young basketball player, seriously ill, whose dream was to play in a college game. Well, this week that dream came true with, it turns out, a little help from some friends that she didn't know she had. Here's Steve on the road. Last Sunday, in the opening seconds of this game, in the final weeks of her life, Mount St. Joseph University freshman Lauren Hill made the shot heard round the world. The story of her terminal brain cancer and her celebration in spite of it has been told all over the globe. We will remember that layup forever. But while most news cameras were either focused on the celebration at center court or the crowd of 10,000 cheering fans, our cameraman noticed something else remarkable. He zoomed over and caught the reaction of the opposing team, a reaction that went so far beyond good sportsmanship. We just had to meet them. I can't even really describe it. I don't know, I was just overcome with happiness, really. Most happy feeling I've ever felt of an opponent scoring. My girls. They are the Hiram Terriers from Hiram, Ohio. Go. And what they showed on the court that day surprised even their coach, Emily Hayes. I have my girl inbounding the ball, like wiping her eyes. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And the thing is, I didn't teach them. I mean, I can't prepare them for that. It just shows the kind of people that they are. Fact is, no one deserves more credit for making Lauren's moment possible than the women of Hiram College. This team not only offered to move the game up two weeks, they surrendered their home court advantage. They wanted Lauren to be able to play in front of her friends and family. Today has been the best day I've ever had. As a thank you, the night before the game, Mount St. Joe took Hiram out to dinner, something unheard of in college sports. Their team took us in. They acted like we were their family. And we laughed together, we cried together, we all hugged. <laughs> There's like a big family of huggers there. <laughs> it was awesome. That goodwill extended throughout the entire game. Yeah, and at one point in the game, one of the girls, I shot a three, and she was like, that was a great shot. I'm so glad you took it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is, it's like unreal. <laughs> Should we be borrowing this, taking some of this into the rest of the <laughs> basketball season? That's how I feel. I'm like, I just want to play games like that every time. Certainly, if college sports were a little less cutthroat, kids might learn that real winners aren't decided by scoreboards. And true character isn't defined by how often you make the highlight real, but rather how you behave when you think nobody's looking. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Hiram, Ohio. Amen. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley. I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. Good night.